This week on One Crazy Story, my friend James talks to me about sex, drugs, and rock and roll, minus the sex, drugs, and rock and roll. He's, he kind of stops me. He's like, hey, man, you know, if you leave, you can't yeah. come back in. Yeah. And at that point, I mean, I'm kind of like a skinny guy, but like I used to be pretty scrawny, so... Mm-hmm. I could see how yeah. it could look like maybe like a meth like head. Or yeah, yeah, like I, I do a lot of heroin in my spare time, you know. <laughs> I had work that day. It was when I was working at Kroger. Mm-hmm. And so, I don't, like, the brake system there is not great. Um, basically, like, you get a brake when, like, they feel like you need one. Yeah. So, I kind of just, I don't know how it happened, but I just ended up not taking breaks that day just for some reason. It must have been been a busy mm-hmm. day so i didn't really eat anything that day or yeah. drink a whole lot of like water Those or anything like that so yeah that kind of like sets it up for you but i had planned on going to this concert with easton alex and alex's little brother ethan okay and so after work i, sw- I swing by my house i get ready they come over and i think i drove them we head down to ann arbor i think we get there pretty early the show didn't start till later but um so we get there and I've never been to the Blind Pig before. Mm-hmm. I mean, obviously, I've been there more now. Like, tens play there all the time. Yeah, so. it's a good venue. Yeah, it's a pretty good venue. It's kind of like, I mean, it seems big at first, but then, like, when people get filtered yeah. in, it, like, it, it packs it's, it, it it's packs pretty in. small. And don't get me wrong, I love, like, the Blind Pig, but it's just, like, a, a lot of, like, memorabilia, like, Nirvana played here once. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. But, I, yeah, I love that place. But, uh, so we get there. And I'm still haven't eaten anything and, you know, mm-hmm. I haven't drinking a water. I'm just like excited for the show. Yeah. We're going to see Daniel Johnston, who he's kind of like a, a folksy, like lo-fi artist type deal. Okay. Kind of like very like mono, like recording style. Um, and I guess Easton had like this documentary about him. He's lived like a really messed up life. I don't even, I yeah. even get into like the details, but he's just, he's got a lot of problems. The this guy the the musician the, the musician. guy you're going to see okay yeah cool. Daniel Johnston and I had never even heard of him before either I was oh just so you excited. didn't even know any of his songs or anything you were just yeah. you were just going for a show yeah I was just going in blind nice see what the I did blind there. pig going, going blind in blind, blind, at blind at the blind pig, pig. all right I like it and so so we get there and slowly more people are filtering in and it's like late August early September so it's pretty hot mm-hmm. and. More people are filtering in, and then the opening band starts playing. And it's like another folk band, and they're pretty good. And, like, I look behind me, and then there's just a sea of people now. <laughs> like, out the door, like, I can't even see the floor anymore. There's so many people. So everything's going fine, and then it's like that weird, like, queasiness I start getting. Yeah. Just like, eh, I'm not Claustrophobic? Yeah, a little claustrophobic, just like kind of like, I feel like it's just like, Something's going on. Yeah, something's not, not right. Something's not right. Something's gonna, not I'm about well. to not enjoy this. Yeah, exactly. So, the ending, the opening band uh, stops playing, and, you know, it's like that intermission where they got to take down the equipment and put up mm-hmm. his stuff. And all of a sudden, my vision just starts cutting out. Oh, man. Like, I'm just like, I can't see. That's not good. Isn't that weird? Yeah, and it's like, it'll just like, it'll go out, and then it'll come back for a short second, and things are like I've blurs. had that happen to me before. <laughs> And I had no idea what was happening at the time, so I'm just like, all right, I'm dying. Yeah, Something's you happening. just thought, yeah, you didn't think of it. The, the thought that you didn't even eat hasn't crossed your mind either. Exactly, not at all. You're just like, I can't see. I don't yeah. care why, I just can't see. Right, I just thought, I'm like, oh, some someone decided I can't live anymore. That's <laughs> great. Uh, so I start to panic, and like I try, I try and like feel around like Stevie Wonder for like Easton or somebody. I'm just somebody, somebody I know touch me. Right. Exactly. So I think I find like Alex and I'm just like, I can't see. Mm -hmm. He's he's like, what? I'm like, screw this. I got to get out of here. I got to like some, find someone to call an ambulance or something. Yeah. So I'm trying to like make my way through that sea of people, which at this point is just, yeah, it's just like a blur of Mm -hmm. like black blobs. I have no idea like where, don't know where you're going. Who's in front of you. So somehow I miraculously make it to the front. And as I'm like about to head out the door, the like door guy who's just like, you know, the typical, like, hey, you know, whatever. He's, he kind of stops me. And he's like, hey, man, you know, if you leave, you can't yeah. come back in. Yeah. And you probably don't look good either. Oh, no. I probably and he probably looks- just thinks you're on some sort of drug. So he's not going to help you. Right. He's and, not like concerned. He's just like, you should leave. And at that point, I mean, I'm kind of like a skinny guy, but like I used to be pretty scrawny. So. Mm-hmm. I could see how yeah. it could look like you maybe like a meth like head. Or yeah, yeah, like I'm, I do a lot of heroin in my spare time, you know. 
<laughs> mainlining of you know do some heroin before the show yeah, exactly do some heroin but uh so he's like you can't come back in if you leave and i'm just like dude i don't give a fuck yeah i don't want to yeah. come back in exactly i'm just like i need some help mm-hmm. i'm freaking out right now so i ended up leaving and i i kind of just kind of like slide up against like the uh back brick wall of the outside and i'm just like you know trying to gather myself you know and my sight's still gone for a little bit. And then slowly I'm just kind of like breathing, getting some air in, and like my sight's returning. And I'm like, great, I don't have to call an ambulance or, <laughs> yeah. you know, try and fiddle with my you phone. You immediately feel so much better when you can see again. Exactly. You, you feel like, like, it's like you appreciate, well, you know how they say you don't know what you have till it's gone. Exactly. Like, oh my God. I don't know how Daredevil I does I appreciate it. sight <laughs> so much more now. Exactly. So I'm sitting there just trying to calm down. And, um, you know, trying to figure out what, what my plan is next. Cause you know, my, my friends are in the show now and I can't really do anything yeah. about it. And then and they don't know where you went. No, not really. Mm-hmm. No. And then this guy comes over and he looks like everyone's dead. He's got like a fanny pack on <laughs> and kind of just like chinos or whatever, like a, <laughs> like a tucked in white t-shirt. Yeah. Like or it was like a tucked in plaid shirt. Yeah, or something Levi's. Like that. yeah button up. And he's got glasses. And he just kind of starts, he comes up to me and he's like, hey, how's it going? And I'm like, um, you know, I've been better. Mm-hmm. Um, but he's like chatting me up and, you know, he's telling me all this stuff and he's telling me about his brother and just like, you know, how he's like traveling with his brother and stuff like that. And I'm like, oh, that's cool, man. You know, whatever. And then um, he's like, yeah, he's inside right now. He's playing. I was oh, like, what? I was like, who's, who's your brother? He's like. He's like Daniel Johnston. You know? <laughs> I kind of follow him on tour, kind of like because apparently Daniel Johnston does not have his shit together. Right. He's he's kind of like one of those like he's you know like, rock stars. Like yeah, you know, he lives the party lifestyle. Yeah, sex, drugs, rock and roll. <laughs> so I'm like, wow, that's crazy, man. You so you just kind of like not babysit, but you kind of like yeah. take care of your brother, you know, on tour. He's here for him. Yeah, exactly. It's like, don't you have like a family and stuff at home? And he's like, yeah, whatever. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, yeah, you know cool but uh so i'm chatting it up with him for a little bit and then he kind of he kind of makes his way you know back like back into the venue and stuff like that mm-hmm. and, you know i kind of gather myself i go finally go get something to eat i go right. get like go pizza get and food. whatnot and so that happens and then i i head back i wait for my alex and easton and them to get out of the show so before they come out though he comes back out and mm-hmm. he's like hey you know i feel bad for you you know, because I so told he knew, him the story. Yeah, he knew that you had uh, gotten sick and you're, you you left and you can't get back in. Exactly. I, I told him the whole spiel, like, while he was telling me about his stuff, I, you know, kind of had to explain myself. I'm like, no, yeah. I'm not a drug addict. I <laughs> yeah. just, uh, Look, man, I don't do math. Right. I'm just a scrawny little kid that yeah. didn't have a I sandwich. I just didn't eat. Exactly. <laughs> Actually, I've never eaten. Uh, yeah. So he said he was like, he said, you know, I feel bad for you, man. Um, so, you know, I kind of brought you a little something. So he gives me a... F- a free t-shirt and cd oh, from nice. his brother so yeah and he's he said he mentioned something he's like yeah maybe i can get you to meet him something like that that yeah. didn't turn out happening but like you know it was That's still a nice, nice gesture, gesture. Yeah. yeah so i got like you know a free cd from a guy i'd never heard of before so i got to discover <laughs> some good music that way and then uh Easton, Alex, and Ethan came out, and I just told them the whole story, and yeah. they were like, "Oh, that's cool." And they were like, "The show was <laughs> yeah. much better." They were they were clearly not worried about you at all. They're right, just like, no. "Oh, where where did you go?" Exactly, pretty much. They were like, "What happened?" I yeah, was like, "Where have you been?" I was like, "Ah, I almost died." I almost died. Thanks, guys. I couldn't see anything. Heat exhaustion. Yeah. So <laughs> so that happened. So I mean, I'm always careful now. Whenever I go to a show, I have like two bottles of water with me at all yeah. times. I'm yeah, like. You gotta take plenty of fluids. Exactly. I have, I have Jimmy John's. A couple like, of nutri green bars. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know? So, yeah, that's how I almost went blind at the blind pig. Oh, it's kind of poetic in a way, you know? Yeah. That's all for this week. If you enjoyed the show, please go to twitter.com slash one crazy story and follow us there. Or if you need to catch up on any old episodes, make sure you go to one crazy story dot podbean dot com or iTunes or Stitcher if you want. And please tell your friends, tell everyone you know about one crazy story. Thanks for listening. Hope you enjoyed it.